All right, let's go through what we're gonna need to change our oil here. Uh, everybody has got different tools, but you know, for, for the most part, you need the basic stuff. So you're gonna need a wrench to take the oil plug off with. Some rubber gloves, keep clean, regular gloves. I always use the glasses. Uh, something to drink if it's hot. Definitely gonna need a funnel. Don't try to do it without a funnel. Just make a mess. Uh, and obviously your oil, right? Uh, stuff to clean up with. Some of these red shop rags are good. And then make sure you got lots of cardboard laying around under the car so you don't make a mess. And then also you gotta have something to collect the oil in. And I have just a cheap little pan that has a lid that you screw on. And um, jack stands to go with my ramps, just in case. And then also it's always a good idea to have a jack handy too, which I do right here with all my mess over there. So uh, get all your stuff together first. Make sure you got everything you need. Uh, one thing about the tools for taking off the oil filter this is a new one i have here uh they sell these that go on use a wrench or they have this kind of wrench too just got to watch out for these because sometimes you can poke a hole in the oil filter with that part right there i've done that a couple times um or they have one that goes all the way around it i don't have that one this one's for the other car actually but it's a good example but there's all, all kinds of ways to do it and um these kind of have a grip, so you can do a lot of it by hand, too. Um, so, I'll get my stuff together, get under the car, and we'll get busy. Ah. I'll do this drain plug. This is the oil pan. It'll start coming out at some point. You can do it by hand. Make sure you let it cool down a little bit too, so you don't get burned as it comes out. Make sure you're ready to move this. These drain pans usually have a little tray for oily stuff so it can drip, so I'm just going to put the drain plug right there. Let all the oil come out. Be ready to move the pan because it'll start dripping from somewhere else eventually. As you can see, I was, I was pretty overdue. I'm just going to let it drip until it's done and then uh, we'll go for the oil filter after that. So I got my other gloves on now. We're going to take this oil filter off. I'm going to need a little more grip. I don't remember tightening it that hard. So I might be able to do it by hand. i make sure my pan is in the right place. And grip. wheel drip this is the messy part most of the time yeah do by hand 
Try to keep it from dripping everywhere. Let most of that oil come out. Then we'll get the rest off. Paper towel. So that's why we got the cardboard down. It did spill some, but it got on to the cardboard. That's all right. Like I said, that's the messy part. Let that drip there. I'm ready to put the new one on. I put a little bit of oil in there already, but it'll fill up on its own. So make sure you don't cross thread it. Put it in lightly until it starts to go. Now you know it's good. my wrench. Just take a little turn on it with the wrench. Let's see, that's gonna bend. So, I think we're good. Get the hand tight. All right, let's put our uh, oil in now. This car takes five quarts. So we'll need our big, our big jug, which is this one. We'll also need one of these. So we can start with the small one, I guess. Make sure this is clean. Remember you gotta save these to put the old oil in. We don't get any of this paper or plastic inside the engine. All right, carefully.
So another thing I'll probably do is get down there and make sure that nothing is leaking. Clean it up with a rag, look for drips. I tightened the oil plug before we did the oil filter and I tied the oil filter so it should be there shouldn't be any leaks but you always want to check why you have the car up on jacked up or on the ramps all right that should be all of it remember keep these because now we got to pour the old oil inside of it to get rid of it at the recycling center all right we're all done got everything closed up we got the jack stands out Double check, there's nothing out of the vehicle. All the tools are out. Gotta pull our wheel trucks out. And then we're ready to back the car up. got it all done we'll let it come up to uh, temperature probably drive it around the block make sure we don't have any leaks and then we'll be done <laughs> 